Okay, hello YouTube, and uh, we have Sipo Kanister back with some bottle marks. Now this has been in normal use uh, with my parents, and uh, they have done absolutely nothing to it other than say that the bag when it is absolutely super full. How it has been fared? Uh, I think it is few years now what they have used this. So let's take the hose off. Oh, that was too easy. Okay, one is there, so we don't look at that. Right now, they didn't use this. They had adapted to use different nozzle and uh, this has some modifications what we need to look at and uh, do some performance testing in this video so i don't so what i need to this to make this work better so let's go to the canister itself there are the tools of this was missing but we found it and uh, there is crevice tool what you need to use this. So it's this kind of deal. A lot of scratches. But there is still power here. Take off there, but uh, I took that power wire to the from the hose. So they don't have to deal with that. So let's look at this. Overall, it is very, uh, I don't know how well the camera shows it, but it is very beaten up looking. Uh, kind of. And uh, there is a lot of scratches and so on. So, and uh, this was original UK block, and uh, I had white cheap plug but replace it that but that <laughs> uh, broke twice so now this is actually outdoor plug very heavy duty plug so there is that and this is push and pull decoration come on oh, okay. so what we are going to start with is from the bag compartment and uh, take this very well oh, okay it's not full but we need to get rid of this bag and uh, okay this is not bad at all. Those bags actually seem to filter well. This is only marks, but you can see there. And uh, hmm, I don't know if I am going to clean that. Uh, Premotor filter, this is. There is a lot of surface area in this. What means that airflow has a lot more surface to pass through. It doesn't mean that this will limit the airflow. Actually, smaller the pre-motor filter, more resistance there is. And uh, this is actually quite good. There is some dust, very tiny bit inside there, I know. You can't see that, but this is still in very good condition. So there is that. How is the... Actually, I don't have to do anything about this inside. This is pair of the packet vacuum. If this were packless, then there, this would be absolutely in terrible condition. Now, 
These are not original Zippo bags, but let's put one there anyway. Okay, now this is fail safe vacuum. You can't shut this back door without that bang. Back beam. In the right way. No, there is post motor filter. And again, typical carbon dust, nothing to worry about. This is not dust of any kind, so it's fine. And uh, what we are going to do now is use this kitchen spray. Oh, can you see that? To give it a bit shine. should be fine. There is some deep marks, but I just can't do anything about. Hose is fine. I guess a bit wide. This doesn't need much attention. Okay, let's leave it like that. And uh, well, if you want to make this look like new, then you have to polish it, and uh, that's something what I just don't do. Okay, time to fire it up. Start from the minimum. And oh, minimum power. Works fine. Now, finally to the cleaning yard. And uh, I don't know if I can show that to you. Okay, first of all, this is made extremely well. This is so well pulled, no so. And uh, typical thing what broke is. Cheap plastic stretch action nozzles. Now, this had a problem. 
this was completely sealed this front and uh, it snow glowed and pushed absolutely almost like coffee ground level stuff from front of it so okay now okay my legs are going to sleep okay there you go full horror <laughs> so okay now good wheels there and uh, look at these wheels how many times you see these big wheels on straight section nozzle now there is the horror part now this has been how I created those you can't even see that but there is groove 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 and groove there to allow airflow to the nozzle and pick up bigger items and uh, this has a lot of potential this dual intake system is very good now after I did that soldering thing I sanded and sanded and sanded this like crazy and I have tested this and it works so you are going to see that but now we have to first clean it I actually used this with my Felix to test this and it works very well. Now some who are like see boy that's the best thing ever and don't dare touch to their products. Well this really needed it because the <laughs> my mom gave this bad because it was gluing down to all her uh, rooks so there is that okay now this has gone very long and one final thing there is one screw mechanism there so you can actually lift this easily if there is something very big what you want to pick up so if you want to go Low, low under you can swivel, swivel it like that and uh, go under but there is limit to that and this works much better than that very annoying thing when you are trying to lift that nozzle and uh, this just goes down and uh, it doesn't do anything so 